emotion in crypto because 30 cents is a psychological sell point. Um, and let me explain what I mean by that. And I'll, and I'll give a practical example, which is how I like to, to show things in a sort of general term. So, so if somebody, if somebody had a million dollars in hex when it was 30 cents and thanks to the genius Richard Hart, we know that a lot of, a lot of hexagons did have a million dollars plus when hex was 30 cents a couple of months ago, whatever it was. And then they watched it go all the way down to 12 cents. Then that would have been very, very painful for them. Okay. So, so 30 cents to 12 cents is 1 million to 400,000. Now that's a big difference. That's a big difference from, they would have been previously saying, honey, we can get any house we like, say when hex was 40 cents or 50 cents, you know, we pick the house, we can have any house you like. So having to say, honey, we can't get any house you like now. In fact, after, after gas fees and tax, then um, you know it's gonna have to be a pretty modest house. <laughs> We're probably gonna have about $250,000 to spend. So that's a big difference. You've gone from any house pretty much, you know, unless you want a massive house with a swimming pool in Santa Monica, pretty much any house to, well, it's gonna have to be a pretty rubbish house actually, honey, sorry about that. Now, at that point, there's gonna be a conversation, whether it's with your husband or your wife or yourself, where you kind of go, right, as soon as it gets back up to 30 cents, I'm selling. Because 30 cents in a comparison to the all-time high of 51 cents isn't too bad. But 51 cents to 12 cents is a disaster. Now, this is how the emotion plays out. Hang on a sec. Sit down, dog. Dog, sit down. You're not listening. Sit down. Right. Okay, sorry about that. So, so a lot of people thought, well, when it gets back up to 30 cents, I'm selling. And so that's what's been going on. But the great thing is, and that's why we're taking so long to get past 30 cents, but eventually... All, those, all that selling pressure will be exhausted. As I say, because 30 cents is, is, not, is not a bad proportion of 51. It's still, it's still the lion's share. So a lot of people are starting to think, right, I'm going to take that. The other thing that's happening, which again is very natural, nothing to worry about, is that some people are thinking, well, I'm going to, while the wider crypto markets dip, I'm going to take some of this money out. And, um, and get ADA, for instance, which is ridiculously cheap at 118 or whatever. So these are the sorts of things that are just happening. Um, so, oh, um, I'll, come to, I'll come to the chat in a second because I'm, I'm on a script, but I will also have to, I'll have to look at the, the chat. Sit, sit down, stay, good job. So I'm talking about, so I've been talking about the emotion in HET. And we all do emotional responses. So my emotional response at missing out on getting on he into hex in the early days was to sacrifice for pulse chain. And uh, some people who might have missed out on sacrificing for pulse chain are now thinking, I definitely want to sacrifice for pulse X. Or you might have made mad gains in hex. And so emotionally, you're going to think, right, this is definitely something I want to do as well. So that's all. In my mind, that's that's an example of emotion being a powerful thing. Because what else are you going to do? Are you going to say, right, I missed out on hex, so I'm going to I'm going to hang myself. Or I'm going to pick up a bottle. No, what are you going to do? You do something about it the next time the genius Richard Hart launches a crypto. And so that's what's going on there. So sometimes it's a good thing, um, an emotion, and sometimes it's not. I also see um, around this sort of time in a cycle where you get a lot of uh, new people coming into crypto and they don't understand very much about it, understandably, but they, uh, they, they are concerned that there are all these cryptos and that, and that that's going to dilute their investment. If too many people are in too many different things. So take the sort of anti-wider crypto sentiment that you get from some of the XRP people. So they will really uh, try to criticize Bitcoin and they'll try and criticize no doubt hex or anything they think successful and taking the limelight from them. And that's a very negative response. And it's one of the things that I, um, I don't like to see hexagons do too much because I'm, I'm of the firm belief that there is more than enough market, there's more than enough demand for all the right cryptos and that we're better off 
lifting each other up. Um, and I think it's something that Richard does quite a lot as well. He also, he's not he's not overly critical of Ethereum. Uh, it, the, if there's been an issue with it, and he's fixed it, and that's about as far as he's going with it. He still he still gets on with um, Vitalik Buterin, etc. And um, yeah, so let me just have a little look at the at the chat because I'm neglecting that. Yes, um, C. Bido is saying emotional reactions rarely well managed. One responding to emotions offers more options. Yes, exactly. Um, um, somebody else is saying I won't try the names because I struggle. I struggle reading the names, pronouncing the names properly. But someone saying. Can I sacrifice E for PulseX? Yes, I'm sure you will be able to. I think Richard Hart has said that pretty much all the all the cryptos that you were allowed to use to sacrifice for Pulse Chain, you'll be allowed to use for PulseX. And of course, Ethereum is um, is the big daddy. So yes, definitely, Ren, definitely. Yeah, the, the process, um, Usman asks, what is a process to sacrifice on PulseX? When it's live, the process will be very similar to Pulse Chain. So, if you go on the Pulse Chain website and look at how it was done there, I actually think it'll be simpler. Um, and I can do a, I could do a live stream actually talking people through it, but I think it'll be simpler because Rich is not going to involve a charity this time. And I think the main reason he's not doing that is just to speed things along because he wants he wants to get this done quickly so that PulseX is out at the same time as um, as Pulse is out, uh, or Pulse Chain Pulse. So um, <clears throat> so there isn't going to be a charity involved. So that's going to make it easier. I think there'll be less form filling. And really, it's going to be a case, I think, of just sending your Ethereum um, common trolls or, or whichever crypto you want to use. Obviously, Hex is going to be a preference for a lot of hexagons. Um, and to a to 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 the address wallet that is um, that is given by Richard. And the key thing here, of course, is make sure that you have got that address from Richard or one of the big, well-known um, crypto YouTubers that covers X and Pulse Chain, etc. And um, like Balia Brand or Crypto Heartbeat or Crypto Coffee, these guys um, or, or myself. Um, but um, double check and triple check, you are definitely sending it to the legitimate place. And the, and the best place also is to do it is, is there will be a website which will give the address. Uh, check also on Richard Hart's Twitter page, which will have the blue tick, and the triple check by confirming the address on, on a channel like mine. So there's absolutely no chance. And then you just provide some details. Um, I don't think, don't think you have to provide a lot of details because, again, I think it's going to be simpler than uh, than last time. Okay, that was good. I enjoyed getting stuck into the chat a little bit there. I hope people are getting something out of it. Please give me a like. I've only got 19 likes, um, 23 watches. Thank you. Somebody's, somebody's hit the like button already. That's very kind of you. Yeah, so I was talking about... Oh, yeah. Sometimes emotion creates unrealistic expectations. So last week, when um, Hex looked to be breaking out from that 30 cent line, there were people saying Hex is going to hit a dollar by Christmas. And I thought, no, no, come on. We've got to be realistic about it. A dollar by Christmas would be a trebling of the price in about 10 days. That, that's unrealistic. And to be honest, guys and girls, we don't want to see those kind of gains because anything that goes straight up comes straight down. So it's, it's better that we see this sort of five steps forward, three steps back, five steps forward, three steps back. That, to me, denotes a healthy crypto market and healthy crypto price gains. So, um, yeah, so that's and that's what we're seeing, really. So we're, we've get, we're getting this resistance, natural resistance at 30 cents. As I said at the beginning of the stream, it's a psychological sell point, and that's all that's going on there, really. At, cer at a certain point, we're going to break well clear of it, uh, get to 35 and then 40. When we get to 40, I would expect to see a little bit of selling again, not as much. And then, of course, the next big uh, psychological sell point, because we, 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 we're talking about emotion in this in this in this vid live stream, about how it can be really useful and how it can be and how it can have be negative as well. Um, 
and how understanding the emotional response of markets critically can help us to anticipate what's going on. Um, uh, I mean, a good example, I suppose you could call it sentiment, is when you see the interest in something like PulseX or PulseChain, then you can anticipate that that's going to be reflected in the price, can't you? Um, it's not rocket science, some of it. Well, none of it is, really. Otherwise, I wouldn't understand it. Yeah, so I've talked about um, sometimes the, the emotional response can be people think it's a good idea to try and criticize any crypto they're not, they happen not to be in, which isn't good. Other times, traders will um, exit a position and then start spreading FUD, fear, and uncertainty doubt, in the hope that the price will then go down and that they can then, uh, that they can then buy back. So you've got to bear that in mind as well. You know, so for instance, in the last bear market, when Bitcoin went all the way down to 3,000, a ton of people were saying it's going to one, it's going to 1,500. And that's because some of that was because these guys realized that that would be ridiculously low. It would be Bitcoin on sale at that point. And that if they were able to pick it up then, then they would be making, you know, from 1.5 to 60K, which is about... Um, 40x instead of 3k to 60k which is a 20x so it makes a big difference if you can get the market to be sufficiently fearful that you push the price down um and and that's what you see going on and that, that and that's when and that's why the, the people who are critical of um hex will wait until the price is suppressed to start saying things and start tweeting in the hope that it will push it into further um, further negative situations. Yes, Tony here is saying, make sure to sacrifice from your wallet. Yes, so that's why I think I'd recommend MetaMask. That's probably the best one. And so easy to set up on an iPhone or whatever. Um, takes two minutes. So if you haven't done that, just set up a MetaMask and load it up with some Ethereum. Um, I'm probably going to use Ethereum, but uh, uh, just uh, because, well, why? Why? So really, it doesn't matter when you, are we talking, let's talk about, I hope I'm not jumping about too much, but I just noticed that comment. So when we um, sacrifice for PulseX, we can use we can use whichever, whatever crypto we like that, that's permissible. Um, certainly Ethereum will be. And, uh, and so I don't think it's, to me, I don't think it makes any difference whether it's Hex or Ethereum or whatever else. Now, the relative price of Ethereum is quite high at the moment. It's, it's stuck around 4K stubbornly. I know right this second, I think it's just under 4K, but I'm sure in a day or two, it'll be back over 4K and when, when the sacrifice starts, which I think is going to be in a few days. So all that matters when you sacrifice a PulseX is that you use a crypto that isn't having a really bad day in the office price-wise. Because that would be that would be bad. So you, so I'm sure you'd be you know, allowed to sacrifice Ada as well, but you wouldn't want to because Ada is is nearly a third off its all time high, whereas Ethereum is only twenty percent off its all time high. Hi Island Landing, thanks for the thumbs up. Um, yeah, so um, thanks for all your support. So yeah. I'm jumping about a bit. I hope that's okay, but I'm trying to keep it fact-filled and uh, and and light. And the dog's gone to sleep now, so he won't be disturbing us. Talked about thirty cents being. Um... Yeah, my passion is for the sentiment side. Um, I understand technical analysis and and. I know who the good guys are at it. Um, Eric Crown is exceptionally talented. Um, Benjamin Cohen is very good as well. Uh, and one or two others. But um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people who aren't out there, so you've got to be very careful of that. It's really easy. It's really easy to convince people you've got a TA. If I start talking about fractal patterns and uh, Fibonacci retracement curves for a minute or two, Elliot Ways and Bollinger Bands, you'll, you'll be convinced I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't. Yeah, so as I say, a lot of people will now have sold 
and we're exhausting that selling pressure and we're getting more and more buying pressure. And so I, I think we will move on from 30 cents soon. We've got, to be, we've got to be realistic about it. It was only a few weeks ago when we were at 12 cents. So it's going to take a little while. It's going to take a little while. Twelve cents was definitely the bottom. We've definitely reversed, and that's the main thing. And it is, and it is incredible how. Um, although we have to be realistic about our expectations, I, I ran the numbers recently when we were doing really well last week, and even at ten percent a day, which is a normal day in crypto, we will double every seven days. 7.2 days to be precise, with just a 10% gain a day. And um, it's just incredible, isn't it? I mean, you wouldn't get 10% in the banks in a year, would you? And yeah, so I often think, well, who, who's selling hex now? Because they've waited, they've endured the 12 cents, it's gone to 30 cents. And I think the answer is less and less people. But there are people who need their money out. Maybe they're getting divorced or maybe they need a new kidney or something. But on the whole, you know, be mad to be selling now. I um, I increased my investment in HEX at 17 cents. And I think, I think one of the reasons that HEX is doing so well at the moment, people don't seem to be talking about it very much or maybe I missed it. But is, is the Poloniex listing. And also, um, you can now trade HEX on Coinbase Wallet, which by extension is, 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 is Coinbase. So that's very good. So um, HEX is starting to be gentrified now. And it's starting to, it's starting to, well, it's definitely um, caught the eyes of a lot of big investors that have a much wider portfolio. I know that um, one of the YouTubers was saying that uh, at the VIP dinner in London on the 2nd, that he didn't recognize anyone, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, uh, it means that there are, there are whales in the background, deliberately in the background, that are getting into, that are getting into, into Hex, excuse me. <coughs> And they're all getting into Pulse. So I'm very excited about the Pulse, Pulse chain launch. But I think that PulseX is going to be very good as well. So I will be sacrificing for PulseX. I, I previously wasn't convinced because if you look at the price performance of its nearest competitors, um, which is things like Sushi, PancakeSwap, Uniswap, uh, they haven't pulled up trees. They haven't set the world alight compared to other cryptos. Well, certainly not compared to Hex. But I think the way Richard's doing it, by making it deflationary and by making it so that the fees are lower than on other uh, DEXs, I think that uh, it, I can see that it will be successful. So I will be investing. I won't be betting the farm, but then um, all my chickens in the farm are tied up anyway. Yeah. So going back to the weaving back to circling back to the emotion in crypto. So another another reason what time it can be good is there's a lot of people who've done very well in hex and they feel a sense of gratitude, which I think is emotional. And um, and guys like Crypto Heartbeat, well, I think he's the he's the main man for this. He's talking about you know what should we do as a community and to to help others and to share in our good fortune. And yeah, that's excellent. And that's an example of, you know, the emotion in crypto being a good thing. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on in the chat. Hey, Rusty, nice to see you, buddy. Always good. So I've, I, think, I think I can see lots of UK people. I see lots. I can see UK people in the in the chat, which is excellent. And uh, obviously my uh, American friends, which is as excellent. Frido asks the million dollar question, when do you think Pulse is coming out? 
I think Pulse is coming out, Frido, in the next four to eight weeks. Um, four to eight weeks. So it will be late Jan or more likely um, by by mid Feb. So I'm saying four to eight weeks to give us some wriggle room. I don't think um, I don't think it'll be any longer than that, which is great. So um, we all look forward to that. Let's see what else um, I've written down here. Bear with me, sorry. Yeah, have another look at the chat. And please throw in your comments now because I'm uh, going to pick up on that. The um, yeah, so I think that um, it's 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 a good time. Obviously, it's very exciting. Um, I think people are really starting to understand the the value of Pulse X now and see the opportunity there. Yeah, somebody saying maybe Wales selling to dump price before sack so they can gain advantage for sacrifice. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, one of the great things about using hex to sacrifice for pulse X is that um, we know from prior experience that um, that hex isn't then subsequently sold, so it shouldn't push the price down. That's not necessarily your point there. Yeah, so well, somebody asked, when will crypto become money? Well, it, it is it is money in El Salvador already. Um, yeah, because it's legal tender. In fact, if you um, if you go onto Wikipedia, look up El Salvador. It says um, legal tender, Bitcoin, and the dollar in that order. So it's happening, um, which which is absolutely excellent. But even just as a store of value, um, cryptocurrency still has so much potential, so much headroom. There's about ten trillion in gold, conservatively. And um, I think all of crypto, including HEX, is only about two trillion. And the gold bugs are migrating over to crypto. So even just even just in that, it's huge. And that's as a store of value. Because gold gold gold's a nightmare. Um, it's done nothing for ten years. It's incredible that people still think that it's a good thing to put your money into. Um, it costs to to protect it, to transport it, it's horrendous. The fees are unbelievable. You know, try cashing, try cashing out your gold and see what see what fees you pay. Yeah, somebody's asking about the future of gold. I don't, I don't think it has it has one. Only in Rolex watches and wedding bands. I think that's and that's the issue. And people are starting to realise that one of the big funds in the states has just sold all their gold to buy Bitcoin, and all the and the smaller funds will now copy. So uh, yeah, gold is uh, gold is toast. It's not surprising, is it? We you can send um, hex or Bitcoin any time of the day or night for virtually nothing to anyone. Uh, whereas with gold, it's not the case at all, is it? And I'm sure there's plenty of paperwork involved as well. Yeah, please throw in your comments. I'm enjoying the chat. Uh, I seem to have. Uh, run out of things to say on the emotional side. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're going to be waiting long now for Pulse Chain or Pulse to come out. I think that Rich is going to want Pulse X to come out at the same time. And really, it's in our interest for that because that's going to increase the liquidity, which is going to increase the value and, and result in the prices going up more quickly.
So I'll just look up on the chat, see what other comments are made that I might have missed. Doing that before. Yeah, that's right, Tony. Quite simple. Just just transfer to the designated wallet address. Somebody saying, waiting for Pulse Jane, got my hex. Yes, you can buy Pulse Chain with MetaMask, definitely. Yeah, somebody asks, somebody asks, can we discuss how exactly we buy Pulse after mainnet using USDC or ETH, for example? Yeah, I think there's a few ways to do this. Um, and I'm all for simplicity. It's not necessarily going to be the absolute best way of doing it. But I don't know if you've heard of Trust Wallet. It's very good. Um, I think you can you could just swap ETH for HEX. Sorry, for Pulse. You would be able to swap ETH for Pulse using Trust Wallet. I think you could do that. Um, it takes two minutes to set up a trust wallet on your phone. Um, it's just a case of writing down the 12 word seed phrase. And um, that's a nice, easy way of doing it. What do people come in on the chat of other ways that they would be looking to do that? I think with MetaMask as well. MetaMask, easy to set up as well. Yeah, my strategy, random guys ask my strategy for PulseX. Well, my strategy is I'm going to sacrifice 4K, 4K dollars of ETH for PulseX, which, um, you know, is a reasonable amount of money for me. Um, I know uh, a lot of people will do less than that, and a lot of people will do more, but... Um, my my rationale there is um, if it does 100x, if it does 120x, that's half a million dollars. Um, I've set up a separate wallet on a separate device, which isn't on the internet, and I'm going to look at it in a couple. Of, I'll look at it in a couple of years. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll look at it every five minutes. <laughs> well, that's what you should do. Make sure you don't forget your 12 word C phrase. And then, uh, has anyone tried to memorize their 12 word C phrases? I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult, would it? Because they're all dead easy words like ambulance and police and car. By the way, those aren't my, those aren't my words. Don't try guessing the other night. <laughs> Make sure if you sacrifice Bitcoin, anything not on Ethereum. That you generate a sacrifice address. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Rusty's saying, make sure that they know where to send the pulse to. That's right. I think there'll be a little simple form where um, you can reiterate that as well. But I'm, I'm expecting it to be more streamlined than the process for sacrificing for pulse chain, which involved talking to nice ladies at, at the Sensed Foundation charity thing. I don't, I don't think that we'll have to do all that. I don't think there's time. Um, that's a good question from somebody I haven't heard from before. Saying, hello, do you think PLSX can be bigger than PLS? If we consider the buying and burn thing plus deflationary token. Yeah, well, that's a really good question, isn't it? And the honest answer is, I don't know. Um, but it's possible. It's possible. And, I, and I'll, I'll obviously expand on that. So for me, names are very important. And I think Pulse Hex is a brilliant name. The, the X obviously denoting the change to tra transfer to something else. And I think Pulse is a great branding word. 
it, but it links to Pulse, but Pulse X. And I think very soon, Pulse is actually going to be the, the sort of flagship branding around Richard Hart and, and by extension, Hex. Um, so a lot, a lot of the big YouTubers have got into the Pulse Chain Sacrifice. Um, see, I'm a bit of a marketing man by background and Pulse is just brilliant. Pulse X is even better. Um, if really, I think there's going to be, there's less loyalty around DEXs than there is around certain cryptos. So if I need to use a decentralized exchange, I'm going to use the one that's got the lowest fees. And I think that PulseX is going to have the lowest fees. And the fact that it's deflationary, et cetera, et cetera, which goes to your point here, um, Ellie, is it? So, yeah, it, it could be. I th certainly think it's worth sacrificing. But, um, you know, if I had to say, probably I would say the greatest chance is that Pulse Chain is going to be the, the, big, the big play. Because, you know, it's a bit like the, the three-minute abs, isn't it? So if Richard has now put out a DEX, which is slightly cheaper than all the others, what happens if somebody else comes along? Because it's quite easy to do, isn't it? All you have to do, we could put a DEX out tomorrow. All you've got to do is, like, clone something like Sushi Swap and then, uh, and then make the fees lower. And hello, we've we've got a dex, and and that's why Richard's been able to do this a lot quicker. I mean, I think it was only recently he decided to do it at all. It's it's nothing like the the genius architecture around Pulse or Pulse Chain, where we are copying over the Ethereum system state <laughs> and got all sorts of. Um, Game, game theories and tokenomics going on and uh, it's, it's brilliant isn't it so I can't see I can't see I can't see I can't see pulse chain being bettered in the next few years but who knows who knows with pulse sex um, but this comes back to the emotion as well so uh, speak personally I wish I sacrificed more or pulse chain. So I'm probably going to result, it's probably going to lead me to sacrifice a bit more, maybe for pulse X. Um, but yeah. Oh, thank you. Digi says excellent advice. Oh, thanks. Not, uh, not technically legal advice, though. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Put Richard Hart's tweets on alert. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I have already. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, and Rusty saying, "Wait for Richard Hart to tell us what to do." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Digi's asking if there's a website. Is there a website for PulseX already? I'm not sure if there is. Guys, jump in on that one. Um, will be soon. But um, get on Twitter if you're not already, and uh, follow Richard Hart. And um, he's been tweeting today, and uh, and he'll tell you what to do. So that's great. I, we're expecting the sacrifice to start for Pulse sets before the end of the year, so in the next few days. 32 likes, that's cool. Thanks for the likes, guys. Um, so I think with Pulse Chain, there was, there was a few days when it was the absolute optimum time to be sacrificing. So presumably he'll do that again. Am I right in saying it was day five? I think it was about there was 15, 18 day period from the main body of it. And I think it was the best day was like day three to day five, something like that. Have I got that right? I don't think it was day one. That's probably to avoid crashing systems or something. Um. <laughs> Shane. Shane asking there, can Richard Hart help you with the ashes? Yeah, very good. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I've enjoyed this. Um, jump in with any more comments and things. Otherwise, I think I've run out of steam, which is fine. Um, so, yeah, so I have, I'd come on, talk about the emotion in crypto, and 
and how how that can be a force for good or negative and how it's useful to understand it because markets are basically governed by emotional responses and there's a pattern of behavior um which um starts with despair despondency and all the way at the top of the market you've got euphoria and uh, and it's it's good to understand how what what's going on there and uh, at the moment, I think I don't think we're I don't we're definitely not in euphoria with um, with hex, but we thought we're in an optimism phase, which is great. So, yeah, it's all looking good. Um, I'm very very bullish for all of Richard Hart's uh, cryptos, and uh, looking forward to looking forward to PulseX sacrifice starting in a few days, and obviously to uh, to the launch, critically to the launch of um, Pulse and PulseX. Right, guys. Thank you very much. Really enjoyed this, and uh, hope to come 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 back to you soon. And um, yeah, give me a like and a sub on your way out if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. And there is a way to support the channel if you think I've provided some value to you. Top of the comments or in the description. Uh, any any donation would be appreciated. But thanks a lot. Have a great day. Um, and hi to people come who are joining. Uh, after the event because i realize a lot of people will be asleep in america so uh, but yeah it's been really good i can see people leaving the chat now so i'll say goodbye and have a wonderful day cheers guys bye